Okay, let's jump into the height map, an alternative way to get it if you're having trouble with QGIS. Sometimes when you go to download, it can give you two zip files. Sometimes it will auto download if you're logged in. I'm having trouble at the moment with retrieving a password, but the problem with two height maps is sometimes when QGIS st stitches them together, it can break the ha height in the center of it. So one side of it could be higher and one side of it could be lower. It's fixable, but it's a pain. An alternative to that is to use open topography. And you can literally just zoom in, find your area that you want. I want this little section here. Just select region and you can go bigger. QGIS will cut your part out anyway. So select the area that you want. Scroll down, ignore all of this, put an email address in, doesn't even have to be yours. And click submit. So we're just waiting for this now to download. Hopefully this won't take too long, it's only a small map area. There you go. Once you've got it, download the data. Open the folder. And there's your file. So for now, we're just going to pop this on the desktop. Click and drag. And we can close that down. Now go back <clears throat> into QGIS. Take your height map. Click and drag it over. And there's your height map. What you will need to do is right click. Uh, rename. And this needs to be GTT underscore height map. Enter. Now when you go to height map, click export. Let this thing do its magic. Export done. So we go to our P drive, test, QGIS. And we've now got a height map. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, import terrain, yep. Yeah. There you go. Height map completed. Job done, guys.